Welcome to Hilton Head, South Carolina, an island paradise with something for everyone. In this video, I'll show you the top beaches to visit while you're here. Hilton Head has 12 miles of the most beautiful, family-friendly beaches on the East Coast. While there's actually one continuous beach that runs the length of the island, it's broken up into different sections, each with its own unique atmosphere and amenities. First up is Cligney Beach. Located near the southern end of the island, it's the most popular beach on Hilton Head with the widest variety of activities for tourists. You'll find easy beach access and plenty to do, as well as friendly vendors to help you enjoy your time here. Whether you want to rent beach chairs and umbrellas to help you relax, get a bike to ride on the beach, join an oceanside yoga class, play beach volleyball, or get paddleboarding lessons, you can find it at this beach. There's also plenty of shopping and a wide variety of restaurants at nearby Cligny Plaza. Another option if you want a beach with lots of amenities is Palmetto Dunes. It's not quite as busy as Cligny Beach, but it still offers many of the same activities. At Palmetto Dunes, there are excellent places nearby to rent kayaks, paddleboards, fishing equipment, and more. As an added bonus, you'll have easy access to the nearby Shelter Cove shopping area and marina with charming shops, restaurants, and a harbor-side boardwalk. At Palmetto Dunes, beach access and public parking are more limited than at Cligny, so the Palmetto Dunes beach is best for people who are staying in one of the hotels or rental properties within walking distance of the beach. If you're looking for a quieter beach, check out the northeast side of the island. This is known as the Folly Field area, and it includes Folly Field, Dryson, Burks, and other beach parks. These smaller beach areas are further away from the main business districts, so they tend to be a bit quieter. You won't find as many activities here, but if you're looking to relax, these beaches might be what you want. They offer public parking, restrooms, and outdoor showers. For sightseeing and shopping, consider South Beach, which is located on the southwestern tip of the island. While South Beach is inside the gated community of Sea Pines, it's open to the public. You'll just need to pay a small fee to get into the community and you'll get access to the beach in the vibrant Harbor Town Business District and Marina. While the beach might be less impressive than other options on the island, there's an extensive variety of activities available, including dolphin watching tours, fishing charters, boutique stores, and plenty of restaurants. While you're there, make sure you climb to the top of the Harbor Town Lighthouse to see the stunning panoramic views of the harbor and surrounding coastline. So, to summarize the best beaches on Hilton Head Island, if you want a busy, active beach, Cligny is your best bet. If you're staying in the Palmetto Dunes neighborhood, there's a great beach there with plenty of things to do. If you want more peace and quiet, your best bets are Folly Field, Dryson, or Burke's Beach on the northeast side of the island. And finally, if you want a charming harbor and a boat tour, check out South Beach on the southwest side of the island. All of the Hilton Head beaches seem tailor-made for beach walks and bike rides. The firm, compact sand provides an excellent surface for strolling, running, or bike riding. With their considerable width and length, these beaches offer plenty of opportunities for exploration, ensuring that you can enjoy a sense of space and freedom. Since most of the beaches are rarely crowded, they often provide a relaxing environment where you can unwind and absorb the coastal beauty. The best time of day to enjoy beach activities is during low tide when more sand is exposed and you'll have access to the firmer, more stable sand that's typically submerged during high tide. I hope this video helps you enjoy your time at Hilton Head. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button.